I am Amit Maidev and I am the chairman of the Baldota Institute of Digestive Sciences at Global Hospital in Mumbai, India. I am speaking today on behalf of my co-authors and thank the Endoscopy Journal for presenting our recently accepted paper titled Endoscopic Full Thickness Plication for the Treatment of Gastroesophageal Reflux After Per Oral Endoscopic Myotomy, a randomized sham control study. One of our main research interests has been the treatment of gastroesophageal reflux. In the past, our center has shown that ARMS or anti-reflux mucosectomy is useful in GERD. In POEM patients, the results of POEM with concomitant fundoplication were also shown to be modest. Regardless of the variation in the reported incidence of post-POEM GER, it is undeniable that reflux after POEM affects a sizable number of patients and the clinical implications are yet to be determined with potentially long-term complications. Unlike laparoscopic Heller myotomy, POEM does not include an associated anti-reflux procedure. Endoscopic full thickness plication, what is popularly called as EFTP, has shown promising results in GERD but its efficacy amongst post-POEM patients needs to be explored. So therefore, we decided to treat post-POEM patients who had abnormal 24-hour pH impedance findings and treat them with EFTP in a randomized sham control trial. Patients dependent on PPI for documented GER underwent EFTP or an endoscopic sham procedure. EFTP was performed using the GERDEX system in patients allocated to the endoscopic plication group and used two staples to remodel the GE valve. The sham procedure was identical to the treatment procedure by positioning the retroflexed device just below the GE, but we did not apply staples. So therefore, we randomized 60 patients, 30 in each group. At three months, a significantly higher proportion of patients achieved improvement in acid exposure time in the EFTP group compared with the sham group. A non-significant improvement was also seen as far as esophagitis is concerned in the EFTP group. The median GERD Q scores at three months was significantly better in the EFTP group and the same trend continued at six months. A higher proportion of patients in sham group continued to use PPI. There were no major adverse events in either group. So therefore, in conclusion, this prospective randomized sham control trial showed that EFTP using this new plication device was safe and effective in managing post-POEM GERD. Endoscopic therapy with EFTP improved post-POEM GERD symptoms, 24-hour pH impedance findings with normalization in one-third and reduced PPI usage in six months. The validity of our study findings, of course, needs greater consideration in future multicenter randomized control trials with a larger patient cohort. And if these results are reproducible, then I think EFTP could become a suitable endoscopic modality for the treatment of post-poem GERD. So to know more, watch out for our article in the upcoming issue of endoscopy. Thank you for listening.